They're telling us that this rectangle is inscribed in the circle. Does it look inscribed? Yeah, it does. Each of the corners of the rectangle does appear to be on the circumference. They're also telling us the rectangle is 12 by 5. Does it look approximately like it's 12 by 5? Yeah, the length of the rectangle looks like it's a bit more than double the width. So since the diagram appears to be drawn to scale, we can probably eliminate some answer choices just using our eyes. What do I mean by that? Well, when I look at the circle, it looks like the area of the circle is somewhere around double the area of the rectangle. It's certainly not four times as big or five times as big, and it's also certainly not smaller than the rectangle. And I know that pi is approximately 3.14, so I can eliminate any answer choices that are way off. In this case, that is answer choices C, D, and E. C, D, and E are all way too big to have any chance of being correct, and that's a good guessing strategy, right? If I don't know how to actually solve the question, I can at least eliminate C, D, and E using my eyes. Now to actually solve this question, we need to come up with the idea of drawing a diagonal within the rectangle because that diagonal is, by definition, the diameter of the circle. And the way I know that is because the rectangle has four angles, each of which is 90 degrees. By definition, that's what rectangles have. And so when I draw this diagonal, that diagonal becomes a hypotenuse in a right triangle that is inscribed in the circle. The hypotenuse of any right triangle inscribed in any circle is always going to be the diameter of that circle, and this has to do with the fact that the inscribed angle of 90 degrees is casting an arc of double itself, 180 degrees, which of course is half of a circle. And I go a bit more deeply into that theory uh, in my book, so you can check that out if you're interested. Now, if you've memorized your Pythagorean triples, which you should, you can find them either by Googling or in my book, you'll know that uh, one of those triples is 5, 12, 13. So we have here a right triangle that has a side of 5 and a side of 12, which means that the diagonal of the rectangle, also known as the diameter of the circle, is exactly 13 units long. Now we know that the area of a circle is pi times the radius squared, but what is the radius? Well, the radius is half of the diameter, and the diameter is 13, so the radius is half of 13. Now, you can probably already pick out answer choice B, because half of 13 is 6 and a half, and 6 and a half squared is going to be a bit more than 36, so we're looking for an answer that's higher than 36 pi. Uh, but if you wanted to get an exact answer, what you can do is, in instead of calling it 6 and a half, Keep it as a fraction, 13 halves. Square that fraction, so 13 squared is 169. 2 squared is 4, so we're dividing 169 by 4, which is like 160 over 4 plus 9 over 4. So that's 40 plus 2 plus a quarter, or 42.25, and that's answer choice B. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.